how to set ground lines. Ground lines are poles that we place in front of the jump to give the horse and rider a focal point to find the optimum distance to the fence. The further out you roll your ground line, the further from the base of the jump the horse will leave the ground. This allows the rider to train the horse to leave the ground either close or far from the jump, thus creating the correct arc to the horse's jump. If you roll the ground line directly underneath the fence, the horse will bring his front feet to the base of the jump before leaving the ground. This is a great training exercise for teaching your horse to be quick with their front end because the horse will have to work that much harder to get his front legs over the top pole. If you roll your ground line all the way out, your horse will leave the ground much sooner and have more time to get the front legs up and over the fence. This trains your horse to have a correct arc in the air and to spend more time correctly holding his front legs up in front of his body. I like to begin by putting ground lines on both sides of the fence so that the horse can warm up on each lead going both directions. One of my favorite exercises to do with ground poles is to set a nine foot ground pole on either side of the fence. One, two, three. Setting these ground poles puts the jump at the exact center of either pole, thus creating the perfect arc for the horse and training him when to leave the ground and also when to land with the jump exactly in the center of his arc. Another exercise you can do with ground poles is to set a ground pole and trot into your jump because the point of the exercise is to teach the horse to come in very collected on his hocks, sit in the space between the ground pole and the jump, and then jump up and over the fence, being tidy and careful in front. If you set your ground poles incorrectly and don't appropriately measure, you will cause your horse to either land on the pole or after the pole. The way you set your ground poles will often be very dependent on the discipline your horse competes in. For the hunters, you want to roll the ground poles out and err on the side of the pole being a little further from the jump. The reason why is because the hunter ring is judged on the horse's bascule or arc in the air. The further away from the base of the jump the horse leaves the ground, the longer his arc in the air and the more beautiful he'll look in the air. The jumper ring is based on accuracy and speed. You have to get underneath the base of your jump, jump up and over your fence, and then quickly turn to another one. They also don't have ground lines on any of the fences in the jumper ring. So when you're training at home, use your ground lines to teach your horse to jump correctly, but then take the ground line away so the horse can jump the same type of fence he'll jump in the show ring. Thank you.